You see number nine, uh, <laughs> Becca Dyke here. She's just bringing the energy today and bringing the the laugh also here on Asbury's side of the floor. Um, just squaring up with uh, Spenson's side of the floor is pretty hilarious. Uh, Spenson tries to send it over. Looks to get it over to the freshman, and they're going to say it is uh, two touches. One thing that's crazy and stuff is even though this is an inner squad, typically towards the end of that uh, third set, you hear the, you, you see them start to get serious. The, the competitiveness starts to come out. But in these early sets, like in like what we are here, uh, you get to see a lot of, even when mistakes are happening, they're like, everyone's still smiling, having a good time, and just, hey, we're just happy to be here today. Mm. As Error seen. there by uh, Shelby Larson. Um, standout junior, though, has been great on serving. Uh, beautiful jump serve, and so really solid net clips and uh, deep balls and placing them perfectly. Great leadership in that way for these underclassmen and just the precision they need to see from teammates. So you see freshman uh, Riley O'Day with the service, and her teammate uh, and roommate also is the one that hits it into that. That's number four, Aaron Sexauer. So they are teammates on the team. They're teammates here today, and then they're also roommates. That's a, that's a lot of being with one person. Definitely. I mean, personally, I live with my teammate. I've lived with her for three years, going on four now. And um, it's just being able to find your different grooves and, and people. I am very involved in the media department, so I have my people there and other friends um, from different activities I'm involved with. And she has her own from psych and um, different things she does. And so it balances out if you're able to find different outlets and different people. Um, it really can work well together if you <laughs> If you don't constantly spend every minute together, but it's just finding that um, finding that balance. And Splash has the service, sends it up to the freshman. Bethany Lau once again at the net. Ball still alive though. Should finally get sent over back to Asbury side. And there is another name that we keep saying, Bethany Fa, with another great play at the net. Beautiful smiles all around by Asbury here, picking up some momentum, um, unlike earlier this morning. So um, really starting to find their stride today against Svensson in this first set. And there's another point for Asbury. So we take a look at that play from just a moment ago from Bethany Fa. Great play, uh, had it made the decision late to figure out which way to hit it because she had that those other great net players up there right in her face. I mean, just beautiful approach, being able to make those split-second decisions and um, decide what to do um, right at that last moment is just a testament to her ability to know her opponent but also know uh, this game well enough to keep people on their toes. Yeah, I don't, I'm not for sure how, how often uh, that ball falls into no man's land for a point for Svensson as Riley O'Day was unable to get there. But that seems to be a big part of volleyball is changing your mind last second in midair of I'm going for the spike up, oh, never mind, I'm just gonna kind of tip it over a little bit. Blaney Evans here, beautiful back row player here for Spenson. Um, just a lot of hustle on the floor from her. Uh, she just brings uh, a lot of strength and energy whenever she's on the court and so she does her best to bring her best every time she's on that ball um, or on the floor. As I think I think this team overall from uh, or Svensson and Asbury either way, uh, both of them have uh, done an incredible job with the effort and and the team karate camaraderie is definitely there. This is a team that definitely spends a lot of time bonding. Yes, for sure they spend. Uh, a significant amount of time. I know before even getting here for preseason doing team Bible studies over Zoom and now that they're on, on campus doing team picnics, doing team photo shoots for fun up on the hill and everything and, and just finding ways to get outside and be together still um, amidst all the corona stuff and so um, just trying to work with what they have and um, make the most of it and still be a tight-knit team that everyone knows around campus. Yeah, you mentioned the COVID stuff. I mean, this this is changing day by day. New decisions coming out. You know, you see 
some large NCAA conferences coming out and saying uh, that they're moving everything to the fall. Other NAI conferences have come out saying things. As of right now, this volleyball team plans to keep playing uh, into the fall season as we have a really nice volley. Beautiful block of the net and Asbury will take the point with a nice little uh, freshman junior duo. Uh, both of them are two names that you're gonna hear a lot over this uh, season. Yeah, Bethany Pye, Aaron Sexauer, really starting to find their groove and chemistry together has been awesome. Um, and we're gonna see it here, Aaron Sexauer making that move to keep this ball alive for Asbury and um, Riley o O'Day um, just keeping it alive and getting that free ball over to make this point for Asbury. Is this another one of those weird weird ones? It's so close to the net. Is it gonna be short? Do I jump up anyways? I don't know where this is gonna fall. And sadly, that one does not go in Asbury's favor. Point to Svensson as we will get to see Shelby Larson, the junior from Louisville with the service. Sydney Flesha just kind of hit, just knocks it up in the air just a little bit. And I believe that was uh, Riley O'Day mm -hmm. who tried to make a little diving play at it, try, a, little, a little prayer at it, and just wasn't able to get there in time. Her head moving faster than her feet for sure. Uh, just working on going with your gut and knowing when to move uh, is something she's still working on. As we have another point. For Asbury there. Yes, let's see who makes their way back for the service, and that'll be the transfer sophomore, Christina Collett. Nice service as Spencer looks to figure something out. Doesn't quite have an answer yet. Vincent Woods just play it safe and get it over. We're tied 19 all right now. Beautiful dig by Becca Dick as that ball will sail out of bounds for Asbury. Svensson ball giving them the one point lead 20 to 19 as we'll see the freshman hop back there once again, Taylor McGall. Yeah, Maddie Bryant here, number 12 on Asbury with that error on the net. Um, these freshmen and underclassmen have definitely had a tricky time um, getting their precision down with these um, cross-court uh, kills. And so we are going to see that net action here um, that just happened, getting it ready for Maddie Bryant to just completely kill, but sending it out of bounds. So again, working on that precision and controlling the power they have um, is going to be crucial for points on the board this season. So that ball will sell out of bounds for Svensson. And this is gonna go to Asbury as I believe that'll be uh, Hannah Lauk is gonna hop back there for a, or Bethany Fry. Bethany Fry is actually gonna hop back there for the service. You see her there on your screen, a player that is definitely one to watch for. Uh, extremely vocal with these freshmen, making sure they know how Asbury Eagle Volleyball is supposed to be played as the point goes to Asbury. <laughs> Bethany Fry sending it up some praise for that one sending out of bounds, knowing her gut was right, um, but just being a little uncertain there. Um, but she has a killer jump serve here, um, being able to send floaters, but also um, some beautiful net clips um, and deep balls. Here, Spencer will lose this one. Looks like it'd be a uh, two touch as Bethany Fah looks to keep this rally going. Yeah, 22-21. These double touches these refs are calling are um, really fair. And, and these freshmen and sophomore transfer, Christina Collette as setters, um, really having a tough time getting a handle on that. And so just making sure that their hands are working in sync and um, working together is important. So here we have, I believe this is the third or fourth service by Fa in this rally. As there's another beautiful play by her. Beautiful dig on the other side by Shelby Larson, but ball was unable to get back into action and send it back over. Point to Asbury, 24-21, as Asbury looks to put this one away in this next point. 
Becca Dyke, standout player with that kill just happened. Um, she's the one that's bringing the energy, the feistiness, uh, the laughs. And she's kind of controlling the mood here out on the floor today for Asbury. And it's uh, quite incredible to see that coming from her um, as a sophomore and just finding that role she can step into and uh, work it very well. As that point will go to Spence in game. They're, this set anyways keeps going as we will see once again, uh, I lost her name on my sheet. The freshman sends it over for Spenson. A little bit of an ugly play here so far in this rally, this volley, as the point will fall to Asbury. Hannah Lauk making something out of nothing, a specialty of hers. <laughs> Definitely in the middle here. Um, just kind of working with what she's got. Um, Again, as these freshmen, sophomore setters, pretty fresh faces are trying to figure out their groove here um, and work at the speed of what college ball is. Um, and so she's just kind of trying to be there and help support that. As you see this play there is a, they try to make something happen there and was unable to. <laughs> Again, something out of nothing. Love to see it. <laughs> 